okay? It's raining outside. I can't really do much. So I'm going to ramble. I'm going to ramble about permaculture, all right? Because permaculture is something that I've discovered over the last maybe four or five years, and I think it's amazing. Um, the concept is so simple, but so many people are intimidated by it because it sounds like a big word. People ask me all the time, what's permaculture? And the problem is when you ask people what permaculture is, you're going to get a different definition from every person you ask because it's not something that you can just nail down. So to me, the best definition of permaculture is permaculture is doing the right thing. So basically, whether you're doing the right thing for your friends, for your family, for the earth, that's all permaculture. Now, permaculture originally was a word coined by Bill Mollison in Australia, and it was sort of the, the fusion of permanent and agriculture. And ideally, it was to way to, to create, to do agriculture that's sustainable for the earth, right? Like when you have massive monocultures of, of one crop and you're, you know, just growing that over the land, you're, you're depleting the land and you're actually taking good land and making it to bad land. What permaculture tries to do is take that bad land and bring it back to life and bring it back to, to the way that it would be in nature. So you're growing things with nature instead of sort of working against nature. You're not fighting nature to make your, your crops grow. So that's the agriculture part of permaculture. But then it became more of a just a permanent culture thing. So basically all, to, all it means now is that you're doing things that are sustainable for all of us. So there's three main principles in permaculture. One is earth care, which is what we kind of just talked about. The other is people care. And the last one is fair share. So people care is basically, we want to create a permanent culture that's going to allow us to live as a society in peace, you know, permanently, right? Um, and fair share is basically using the resources that this earth has to make sure that those with excess can share with those that don't have enough, right? So that's basically the sort of the, the classical principles of permaculture. Like I said, for me, it's all about doing the right thing. So if you've got that little um, yogurt dish that you're saving to put, a, put some soil in and put a plant in it, you're doing permaculture. Because one, you've taken that piece of plastic out of the garbage or out of the recycle bin or whatever, and now you're using it, you're repurposing it for another positive, um, positive action, right? And you're also planting a plant, which may be providing food for you down the road. So there's permaculture can be done on any scale. You don't have to have goats. You don't have to have chickens. You don't have to have acres and acres of land. You can do permaculture on any scale, you know, simply by, you know, sharing with your neighbor, you know, food, you know, that's permaculture. You know, you're doing fair share. You're doing um, people care. So there's lots of ways that you can do permaculture. So don't be intimidated by permaculture. All it is is doing the right thing.